Hello everyone, my name is Guido Tronca and I am product manager for the concrete product line at Prosec. I am very pleased to give you today some insights on Prosec's advanced profometer cover meters. You know rebar location is probably the central activity for anyone involved in on-site testing of reinforced structures. Apart from the simple task of locating rebars in fact, further needs arise for inspection engineers and companies involved in conformity checks of new buildings, investigations on unknown structures, and corrosion analysis. Since the early 70s, Prosec has been addressing those different needs through six generations of profometer cover meters. The latest generation of profometer PM6 brings this 40 years of experience into an upgradable concept ready to deliver the best features needed for any specific application. Let us then begin with our entry-level model, the Profometer PM600. It is an ideal tool for contractors who need to avoid damage to the reinforcement steel when drilling, coring, or cutting. But additionally, it covers the needs of inspection engineers wishing to locate rebars and to assess concrete cover values and rebar size. As a matter of fact, this is the typical recurring scenario in small NDT investigations, meaning limited in extent with few elements to be checked. The locate mode of Profometer PM600 relies on a rifle scope view enabling the user to quickly position the probe on the center of a rebar in order to mark it on site. The cover value is constantly displayed and a diameter measurement can be easily performed with a simple push of a button. Here we can see how, in a very short time, it is possible to define on-site the so-called green areas, where coring and drilling can be performed without any risk of damaging the reinforcement. Keep in mind also that locating and avoiding the rebars is not a task limited only to coring. Inspection engineers dealing with on-site testing are as a matter of fact dealing with exactly the same issue. Most non-destructive techniques in fact require the preliminary location of rebars in order to avoid the influence of steel reinforcement on the measured value. Such is the case, for example, with rebound hammer and ultrasonic pulse velocity measurements, and the same thing can be said for resistivity, permeability, adhesion testing, and others. Profometer PM600 ensures an excellent and efficient workflow while granting exactly the same performance of the higher level models in terms of cover and diameter accuracy. However, as we saw, no information whatsoever is stored concerning the relative positioning of the rebars. This, as a matter of fact, can be a significant limitation when a full mapping is needed. A typical example would be the case of civil engineers and inspection companies in charge of assessing the conformity of concrete cover of a new structure or dealing with corrosion analysis on large elements. Considering such requirements, specific mapping and reporting capabilities were developed for the Profometer PM630, which I will try to cover now. In the single line mode, the cover readings together with a corresponding probe displacement are continuously stored along a linear path. As the probe is moved, the measured cover curve or the signal strength curve is displayed based on your selection and local peaks are automatically marked as rebars. If a diameter measurement is performed, it will be associated with a corresponding rebar. Once the scan is stored, the touchscreen capabilities allow you to zoom and scroll in the desired area of the scan. Rebar positions and spacing are clearly indicated and all the information associated with a specific rebar can be viewed and edited by simply tapping on the rebar itself. False positives, the so-called apparent or ghost rebars, may of course appear because of minor fluctuations in the signal intensity. 
In this case, you can simply delete such rebars and the corresponding cover value will not be taken into consideration in the statistical analysis. Now, let's assume that our goal is the actual mapping of a whole portion of the wall in order to assess the conformity of the concrete cover to the specified design value. The answer provided by the Profometer PM630 for this application is the multi-line mode, that is to say, the combination of a number of parallel linear scans. We don't have to stick to a predefined arrangement. Rather, we are free to position our scans to whatever spacing for a virtually unlimited length. As the data is collected, the updated 2D image of the reinforcement is provided, together with color-coded information about the measured covers. When working on-site, a good trick in this case is the use of a chalk line easily available in any hardware store, which in a matter of seconds delivers a fully user-defined grid. Similar information is provided by means of the area scan, which is traditionally used in combination with the half-cell potential measurements when dealing with corrosion analysis. In this case, a graphical representation is provided highlighting the minimum cover value as measured in each cell of a user-defined grid. Once the data is stored, the user can edit the 2D view. Rebar geometry and cover values are immediately displayed. A very powerful tool is the signal strength spectrum. That is to say, the actual representation of the signal intensity over the whole investigated area. By moving the two sliders on the screen, the user can refine the spectrum in order to highlight the desired details. In this case, for example, we can immediately display the extent of the overlapping rebars on the bottom, represented by higher intensities, as well as an anomalous area in the center of the screen represented by lower intensities. As a matter of fact, this is the exact representation of an opening in the wall such as a window, which was closed at a later time with different rebar arrangement than the original, that is to say, deeper rebars. Every single scan can be recalled for viewing and editing. We can see here, for example, how the central anomaly with high cover appears in single-line view. But let's not forget that our first task here was to assess whether the concrete cover is within the expected range or not. The statistical features of the Profometer PM630 allow the user to immediately deliver an answer once the design minimum cover is provided. The specific onboard DBV algorithms perform the necessary calculation, providing an accepted, not accepted statement. In this specific case, when a design minimum cover value of 25 millimeters is set, sorry, red color, not accepted. The Profometer PM630 already delivers excellent capabilities for the mapping of concrete cover values when dealing with conformity checks or corrosion analysis. However, further capabilities were developed for those in need of full reporting features, such as those required on large investigation campaigns where a comprehensive report is to be delivered to the customers. Let us see how the cross-line mode of the Profometer PM650 is actually the recommended solution for that. In this case, a full set of linear scans is collected in a similar way as seen before. But this time, both parallel and orthogonal scans are simultaneously taken into account. Once again, the maximum flexibility in the size of the scanning area allows the user to investigate a pillar a small portion of a wall, or larger elements such as a concrete slab or a bridge deck with exactly the same procedure. 
bear in mind that when dealing with horizontal elements such as decks, slabs, and soffits, the extension rod can provide the optimal ergonomic solution for recording the data. Once the data is stored, an immediate overview of the investigation area is provided on the profometer in terms of rebar arrangement and cover values. The signal strength spectrum delivers a customizable view of raw signal intensity. We can see in this case how the overlapping regions around the pillars are clearly seen as red areas as opposed to high cover regions. See blue area in the lower right portion of the spectrum. Of course, the zooming and scrolling features enable focusing into the desired location of the investigated area. Every single line can be recalled for checking and zooming into the desired spot or editing of individual rebars. All the features seen so far on the profometer are fully available in the PC software that comes with the instrument. The graphs and statistical charts can be fully edited and exported directly into any reporting template. All of the measurements are also available as raw text data for further processing on any customer-specific third-party software. As a last note, I would like to highlight that the Profometer PM6 product line is part of an integrated expandable concept. First comes the option for the user to upgrade his unit to the higher level ones at any time after the purchase. Then come the benefits of the regular firmware and software updates available for free download on ProSec's website, which keep your Profometer PM6 equipped with the latest features. Last, and probably even more strategic for the end user, comes the awareness that the Profometer unit will be the center of any future ProSec development, such as new testing methodologies or new probes. So finally, there are simply more options for the user to actually tailor his instrument according to his specific applications. We hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.